Hi there, Blaze here, and today is... Oh damn it, it's Tuesday. I was working for almost 3 days on very interesting system. I want enemies to follow specific paths after they spawn, so I need to save some coordinates of checkpoints they will follow. In my prototype, which I created a few weeks ago, I done it using empty game objects on scene, but I don't like this method because I don't want to have garbage on my hierarchy. The solution I found is to use scriptable objects with array of coordinates. There was only one problem with this idea. Scriptable objects don't have on draw gizmos function, but I need to draw the path to easily edit it. This takes me a few hours, but I recently found a solution. Write editor class and use handles. Maybe I will record a tutorial for this in the future. Wednesday it was about 5 am when I woke up and started the development process. This day I spent on setting up paths for enemies using three table objects I created yesterday. I also implemented some tweaks and you can see that I have line drawn on screen in place where enemy will move. Faster move is represented by red line and slower is drawn as yellow line. I also have text indicators with IDEs on path start and wait times on some vertices. This system is very easy to use and very comfortable. I created just few movement simas, but I will add more in next weeks. Everyone welcoming Thursday. Today I was creating enemy logic for single object. I want enemies to spawn as divisions of entities and follow the path of movement simas. Currently I added instantiate on first point of path and wrote some code to enemies awake function to override properties like damage or health. Unfortunately, when I think how to split division into columns and how to implement it in project, it's a little bit complicated. I need to spend some time on designing this because I want to avoid bugs in the future. Maybe I will have some time in the evening. Ok, so the smallest thing of opponent army is enemy, but one is not enough so there will be group of some enemies and it's called enemy division. This division is a prefab which works like enemy spawner. It should have reference to enemy division define, which is an asset with defined type of enemies and have references to movement simas define, which defines path enemies will follow. Ok, at the moment this idea may look a little bit complicated, but in the future I want to have map spawner with references to proper division defined scriptable object, so this system seems future proof. Quick update from Friday, I spent about one and a half an hour to develop enemy movement logic and change the way space is moving. As you can see enemies now spawn at the beginning of path. Tomorrow I will make them move following it, but now it's time to go to work. Hello, welcome on Saturday. My screen with script uh, currently turns off. Oh man. It's before 6 am and I'm gonna spend next hour or two to make some improvements to my enemies logic. So let's get started. Okay, it took me seriously much time. I have some breaks along the day, but it's now 11 pm. I decided to end these improvements today because tomorrow I want to start next devlog week and now they are ready. I have system which defines enemies movement inside my enemy division object and it will spawn enemies on specified locations. After that enemies will follow path. As you can probably see, this movement isn't very smooth on vertices. I want to fix it later, but for now it is good enough for testing. It seems like I will have much work tomorrow morning with editing this video, but for now I'm going to sleep. Good night everyone. <laughs>